Uh, if a sucker wanna hate it, ain't a problem. If a hater wanna hate it, ain't a problem. I didn't tell these from the jump I got them. What's going on, y'all? This is AC, and today we are in tune with Aaron Sins. What's going Aaron's on, scared. man? What's good, homie? How's everything, man? Aaron, man, chilling, just, you know, get into it. What's good with you, man? I see, I see you got a couple things going on. Yeah, man. Uh, I just dropped a new record. It's called Ain't a Problem. It's on all platforms. Mm-hmm. Uh, shot that video not so long ago. I'm going to drop that video this coming Friday. So that'll be mm-hmm. April 30th. If y'all watching this in the future, it's already out there. Right. <laughs> yeah, and it will be out. This this interview will be out after. <laughs> yeah, it's already out there. It's, you know, just type in Aaron Sins on YouTube. Mm-hmm. The record's called Ain't a Problem. The video's out there. Um, other than that, though, man, uh, okay. excuse me, I'm getting ready to shoot a movie uh, next week. Well, two weeks from now. Mm-hmm. Called Get on Lost. the 14th, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah, 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 right on the 14th. So it's going to be a dope movie, man. We got Fat Boy SSC in there, Justina Valentine, Shiggy, PNB, me, Bill Collector. Is List that, goes on, man. Is that your film that you created or is that something you're a part of? Oh, now I'm a part of it. Okay. Yeah, I'm a part okay. of it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, shout outs to Corley White and uh, Josh from YNC had casting me to be part of the film. Um, I'm going to be playing one of the brothers. So okay. it's going to be it's going to be pretty dope. I mean, so is that something that you reached out to somebody like they were looking for people or like how does someone come across something like that? I feel like that's a dope. You got a bunch of influencers on it and shit. Facts. Yeah. So so basically um, how I came across it, um, basically I follow Josh from YNC. Mm-hmm. Uh, we spoke a few times um, and he kept posting like they was looking for uh, extras and actors and main roles and, you know, the whole nine. Right. So he posted like two times. And I was like, you know what, fuck it. Let me go to the website. Let me see what's up with it. So I went to the website. Um, I paid, auditioned, and uh, mm-hmm. they gave me three scenarios. Um, I did all three scenarios, and they cast me on the spot. And then I had an audition for a main role, and I wanted to audition for one of the brothers. So mm-hmm. I auditioned for one of the brothers, the role that I wanted, which was uh, Zach, the jock brother. And uh, I actually got that role. So <laughs> yeah. That's the one you went yeah. for, and that's the one you got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's sure. fine. Facts. <laughs> so is, that, is, is acting something you always did, or is this something you just felt like getting out of the box and – uh, really out of the box, man, because really, like, I'm in the music field, but to me, it's just like, you know, when you're making music videos and stuff like that, you acting anyway, you right. know what I'm saying? So exactly. <laughs> you're you're already acting, so I was right. just like, you know what, this is a different lane. You know, I always say that you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Mm. So I just went for it. I went for it. I said, if it works out, it works out. If not, at least I went for it and it happened to work out. <laughs> wow, <laughs> so, that's crazy. Hey, yeah, man. It's dope. It's dope. And that's, and that's just... That's just putting in the work like because people would think like stuff like that is like impossible or stuff stuff like that you just you know what i'm saying just has to come to you but that's something right. that you went out and got like right exactly so that's exactly. good to show people that it is bigger than just music because you got the song you got out ain't a problem like that song is fire like you could have just been focused on that you know what i'm saying yeah man you know i, I try i try to do more than one thing you know at a time um mm-hmm. after that after after um i dropped ain't a problem the video and i pushed that for a while I got a record called Calling My Phone, which features mm-hmm. Ant Wave. Shout out to Ant Wave. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, we, we shot that joint with um, We Live TV. So we got that coming right out right after that. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm dropping the music video to Ain't a Problem. I'm going to push that right after I get done with filming. We're going to see how that goes. Then I'm going to drop the Calling My Phone record in the video with uh, Ant Wave. So it's going to be mm. dope. So you're just going, going back to back with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm gonna be in the studio tomorrow too, so I'm just I'm just going back to back, keeping okay. that content flowing. You feel me? So, and do you when yeah. you when you say you're going to the studio, is there like a local studio that you go to, or do you have your own studio? How do you? Well, do you... actually, I I have a studio in the crib. Okay. You know what I'm saying I have a studio in the crib, but it's kind of hard, like with my son and all that. So right. <laughs> I also mm-hmm. got two. I got two local studios around me. You know what I mean? That I also go to, and one of them, you know, what I'm saying, really cool with the engineer. We got like a really dope relationship. It's like okay. right around the corner from my crib. Like I can walk to homie's crib, mm-hmm. so it's not really an issue. Um, really, with my with the studio I got in my crib, I just like do like demos and shit like that to it. And then um, sometimes I write for like some indie artists. Sometimes that won't help with that shit too. So mm-hmm. that's usually what I do to do the uh, studio in my crib for. And then when I want to really record and get some shit done and get some work done, I go around the corner to my man's house. Mm-hmm. professional setting and just just rock out you know what i mean right so that's, that's, that's how dope. i do it yeah, yeah that's dope because like a lot of people feel like just because they have access to a home studio like that's it like i feel like when you go to the big studio still or a quality studio like that's where you still got to mm-hmm. put the work and that's still more effective than a home studio 
So it's good yeah. that you still got that mindset. Like even though you got your own, you still go out and make sure you get. The, yeah, man, I, I I I love the the ambiance too, man. It's just mm -hmm. a whole different feeling, you know. I mean, right. the home studios is cool, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. my shit is like literally like just set up like in the bedroom, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just mm -hmm. in the bedroom, got the microphone, got the laptop, interface, all that shit connected, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a little bit soundproof, but not too much. Like I said, I really just do that shit for demos and shit like that. Right. But like, I feel like when I go to like to the main studio, the real studio, you know, it's the ambiance, got everything there. You know, you secluded in, you locked in, dim the lights down, and nobody mm -hmm. fuck with you and just get to work. You know what I mean? Do you so, feel like that's essential though for your work ethic is being able to practice it? Because I'm sure you don't do like a one take when you just, you know what I'm saying, record. I'm sure you wrap it a bunch of times then you're able to record it at your home, hear how it sounds. So then you're able to right. go to the studio with a whole different energy. Like, is that essential in your workflow? Uh, sometimes, man. Sometimes, you know, because when, when I, when I, I got, I got different work, work uh, paces. Like sometimes mm -hmm. I'll, I'll sit there, I'll listen to the beat, I'll write it out and then I'll practice it at the mm -hmm. crib. You know what I'm saying? Demo it, see how it sounds roughly. Right. And then when I'm when I'm ready to really record it, I just go in. And then there's other times where I'll literally hear the beat in the studio, the the actual studio, mm. and just make the shit right there. You know, I'll just make it real quick, and then I'll just record it. There's been times I record this shit in one take, but you know, sometimes I gotta like punch it in here and there. But right. you know, it's really how I'm feeling and in the vibe of the record for the most part. But it's definitely, in my personal opinion, I think it's essential to at least try to practice it a little bit before you really lay it down. So when you said you said in some of your, some of your songs you hear the beat in the studio make it some you do at your crib what like mm -hmm. from from the songs you've done like what was a better experience for you like where do you feel like you gave the best song was it like the juices flowing in the studio or something you came up at the crib bro like both son. <laughs> both bro it's 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 crazy like for if for instance I'm, I'm gonna say it like this uh -huh. ain't a problem right the record ain't a problem yeah i made that shit an hour before i went to the studio mm. i I, did, I didn't even practice it like like I, I i heard the beat i wrote it down i didn't even practice the shit i went to the studio but i already knew how the shit went you know what i'm saying so once I locked in, I just suck it in and it ain't a problem. Like I just went through the whole shit like two or three times, obviously because mm -hmm. I ain't practicing like that. Exactly. And then boom, it was golden. You know what I mean? Um, there was an, another time I got a record called Juice. It's out on all platforms where Euro got it. Real dope artist. Yeah, that's um, that song. That's on yeah. fire. I was just listening yeah. to that shit. <laughs> that yeah, shit that shit fire. Yeah, we never shot a video to that shit, man. But you know, it, it was dope. It was dope. Oh, with that record right there, I actually wrote that shit on a plane going to Atlanta. Mm. You know, so <laughs> to, to meet with to meet with the feature to meet, yeah, yeah. Oh wow, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I, I so y'all ain't even shit. had nothing planned. It was just like you was gonna go there and just cook up. That's that's a fact. That's a fact. Wow. Because because when when I um I chopped it up with the C with the, with the CEO of his uh his label Boom. Shout out to Boom and the whole Authentic Empire and shit like that. And mm -hmm. then he told me he was like, "Yo, come down to uh to the A and work with Euro." And then at first I had to ask him. I was like, "Yo, do Euro got open shit, or do you want me to make something real quick?" He said, mm -hmm. "Either or." So I said, I bet me always just being prepared. Mm -hmm. I'm like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I had stuff other than juice already on me. Right. But I heard the juice record while I was, I heard the beat while I was on the plane, like literally in the air because I had it saved on my phone. Right. So I was listening to this shit and I, it was like a like two and a half, three hour flight or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. And then I wrote the record. You know what I'm saying? I wrote my verse, wrote my hook, landed in Atlanta, bust that shit down. Euro came, bust this shit down. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. And it's it's yeah. it's crazy that how long have you been how long have you been doing music like professionally? Because I see on Apple Music uh 2019 was your your late like your first bro to be honest with you though I I literally been recording myself since 2013. Mm. Um I I didn't officially start really releasing music online until like 2017, 2018. Mm -hmm. Then I took the shit down. And then I put it back up because I had went through a whole rebranding type shit. Mm. Uh, at first, you know what I'm saying? I was uh, straight up just like the sins of my name is really short for sincere. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So at first I was just sincere. And there's too many sincere. The shit that fucked with me was um, I was in the studio one day mm -hmm. and I'm recording. I forgot what, I don't know what song I was recording, but I'm recording it, right? I'm, I'm going in and my homeboy, the engineer, uh, he pick up the phone. And he talking on the phone. And he like, yo, what you mean? Since Sears in the booth right now, this shit don't make no sense. You know, like, you know, I could hear this conversation. Right. So we hang up the phone and he look at me. And he's like, yo, bro, that was weird as hell. I said, what are you talking about? 
it was like somebody said, uh, calling themselves sincere, said they're trying to book a session, but you'd only say, I know. <laughs> so I, I said, up. what? <laughs> I said, what? Well, so I, was, I was like, fuck it. And then, and then I had added Lucini after it, but I just felt like, I was like, you know what? I just took my middle name, which is Aaron, right? Mm -hmm. I took my middle name and I said, yo, if I'm gonna really do this shit and, and, and be about this shit, I, I specifically picked Aaron because like when mm, I used to get in trouble when I was younger, my first name's Anthony. Mm -hmm. My middle name's Aaron. So when I used to get in trouble when I was younger or some shit was real, my mother would be like, Anthony, Aaron. You know what I'm saying? That, that's, 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 when that's, I, trouble. That, that's, that's what I knew. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? So, so, <laughs> so I was just like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, you know what? If I'm, if I'm going to really do this shit, um, I'm going to just do it the, the right way and mm -hmm. the best way that I can. So I just took the, my middle name, Aaron. It's basically just simplified. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to really do this shit. You know what right. I mean? And I just, I just added sin after it because everybody, even my mother at times calls me sin. Mm. You know what I mean? So I just couldn't get rid of it. I just play Aaron Sins and then boom, we're just stuck. You know what I mean? That's crazy. <laughs> so, that's crazy. Yeah. You said your, your first name, Anthony, middle name, Aaron. My, but that's yeah. both of my brother's names, Anthony and Aaron. That shit is crazy. Oh, shit. That's <laughs> ill, bro. Yeah, that's yeah, crazy. That's Ill, bro. Yeah, that's, that's, that's just how the, work, that's how the world works sometimes. But, yeah, but that's from, from what you're telling me and what I see, you know what I'm saying, is you move around a lot. You're not scared to network. You're not scared to reach out to each other. Like, how did how did you I find know. somebody in? Are you from Allentown? Or where are you from? Nah, bro. Um, I was actually born in New York. I was born okay. in New York, but um, I was raised in the Poconos. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm out here in the Poconos. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Northeast type shit. Mm -hmm. Um, but I've basically been out here, <laughs> basically damn near my whole life. Kid. Like okay. I went to school out here, and uh, I basically I came out here when I was like six or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. And I moved back to New York, and I came back, but I did my whole schooling out here. Okay. You know what I mean? So I really just represent the Poconos. You know okay. what I'm saying? Try to put on for the Poconos, but you know. Yeah, yeah. that's why I, I, I figured because I was like, I, I don't think I, I've ever seen you around because I'm from Allentown. And, but I seen right. you like working with Allentown artists. How did you, right. we're going to go back to my initial question about the, the Atlanta thing, but how did you, how did you mm -hmm. link up with people from Allentown? How'd you find your way over there? Uh, basically, um, I was following Aunt Wade for a while. Okay. Oh, I forgot how the hell I found his page, but you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I ended up following him for a little bit. And then um through him, like I, I I like to study shit. So I'm like, he was dropping a lot of videos. So I'm like, yo, who's shooting his videos? Mm -hmm. Like I'm a I'm type dude, like I because I need a videographer. Right. And through him, actually through his page, I should say, mm -hmm. um, I ended up finding uh We Live TV and all of them, you know what I mean? Right. So I chopped it up with them and uh we shot two videos, you know, I mean? we kicked it off, shot two videos. Usually that's what I do. I used to shoot two videos in a day. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just to try to step up right. and, and be ahead of the curve. So we all shot two videos. It was on Know Me and uh, Forever In Me. We all shot those videos. Okay. And then uh, from there, this has been game on. That's just basically how I, I networked over there. I've been rocking with, um, uh, we live for a minute. And then um, I hit a wave again. And I was just like, yo, dog, you trying to get a record in? You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I'm shooting this video. I'm shooting a video for Ain't a Problem. I'm like, yo, I'm just trying to get a quick record in. So he was like, cool, send me whatever you want to send me. So I had sent him the call in my phone record. And then uh, he laced it up and he sent it back. I touched it up a little bit. We shot that video, went back out there. And, you know what I mean? Russell <laughs> <Jason. laughs> That's crazy. You, you, know don't play, you don't play around there. You just, yeah. so it's, you're real serious about this. So then let's go back to my initial question. And how, did, how mm. do you end up meeting somebody in Atlanta? Is this all just social networking that you're doing? Yeah, bro. Literally. Mm -hmm. Literally, like, like, that's literally what it is. Like, with, with, with Euro, like, I have a homeboy that lives out in Atlanta, too, so it's cool. So when I went out there, like, I ain't have to cop, like, a hotel or nothing because my man's lived out there. So he, that's he held me down while I was out there for, like, a week or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, But, yeah, like, with the whole Euro situation specifically, um, I've been following, like, AE and them for a while and seeing what they was doing and shit like that, paying attention to the artists. And then um, I just wanted to work with Euro. Like, it was, like, fucking September, October, around there. I was mm -hmm. like, you know what? I'm a I'm gonna work with him. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna work with the cats. I fuck right. with him. You know what I'm saying? I fucked with him. So I was I was like, I'm gonna work with him. So I reached out to them, uh, had a meeting with them, chopped it up with them. Uh Euro sent me the price, or his people sent me the price, paid the price, flew out to Atlanta in January, laid the shit down <laughs> on the plane, wrote the shit right. on the plane, like I was saying, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> landed That's in crazy. Atlanta, <laughs> landed in Atlanta, linked with all lands, ate some breakfast. Went to the studio, laid that shit. Euro King laid this shit. We never shot a video to it though, but mm -hmm. you know, maybe one, one, one day, you know, we probably gonna get something else going and then be able to shoot a video to something else. But mm -hmm. yeah, that's basically how that went. Did you plan to do a video with him? Or uh, it it was I was thinking about it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, I was definitely thinking about it, but at the same time, I was like, I don't know, a if this was the right record, and b, right. I didn't want to really rush you. 
You know what I'm saying? Because right. I, 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 at that moment, like I didn't have a lot of content. Mm, you know what I'm okay. saying? At that, at that moment, I ain't really have videos out. I ain't had nothing, bro. You know what I'm right. saying? So I, I wasn't trying to go out the limb and just pay X amount of dollars to get this video out. And then I got to worry about promotion. You know right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so I was just like, you know what? It's cool to get the record. You know, so I got the record. But there's a few other artists I'm really cool with, like me and Rory Fresco. We we worked. We got two records coming out this year. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And he actually sent me a record with another major artist on it. But I gotta get it clear type shit. But, okay, know, that's an, that's you another said, discussion. Who was the artist? You said Manny Fresco? No, no, Rory. Rory Fresco. Rory. Okay. Yeah. And where's he from? I I'm sorry, I never I never heard of him. He's cool. He's he from L.A. Uh, he worked with Kidding and the alumni and okay. shit like that. So if you okay. listen to Kidding, like, for instance, uh, Kidding's new album, like, he got a song on there called Rich Talk, and uh, mm. Rory's featured on there. You know what I mean? Mm. So they, 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 they do a lot of work. You know what I mean? And you I said got you got a couple of joints like with that. him. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, so you just be out here network. What What's your drive with, 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 with that? Like, what makes you be like, yo, I'm like, because a lot of people got the same access, a phone. Everybody got a phone. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? What mm-hmm. makes you feel like you're separated from other people that that you like? Let's work. Let's work. Let's work. You you everywhere. Like nothing's gonna stop you, basically. No, no, because you you know what it is, bro. I I got tired of being tired or or start feeling sorry for myself. You know, mm-hmm. be honest with you, bro. Mm-hmm. Because I've been doing it for so long, and it was just like, yo, I know I got the talent. Mm-hmm. I know I could do this shit. You know what I mean? It was just I never really pushed myself to that limit mm-hmm. to try to do it. And then uh, when I had my son, man, it was just like, this shit got to fucking work. This, this, right. it, was, it was like, it got to work regardless. Mm-hmm. And even if it doesn't work, I'm the type of person where I'm like, if I, if I at least know I tried everything I could to make it happen, that's right. all that matters to me. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, I don't, I don't want to die <laughs> knowing that I could have went for something. And right. I don't want my son to grow up and be like, hey, dad, do you regret anything? And I'm over there like, yeah, man, I wish I would have, you know, gave 120 in this shit, see what would have mm-hmm. happened. Right. You know, I'd ra- rather just go 120. And if I fail, I'll get up and I'll try again. But ultimately, if right. I ultimately fail, at least I know I tried. You know what I mean? Exactly. And how old so is that, that's how My son, he's four months now. He's a young four, Oh, okay. You just had? He a, my my he kids are four months. That's crazy. I just he had a young <laughs> Yeah. He a baby. <laughs> so the, I yeah. I can relate to that. I know I get what you're saying. Like like the the grind just got different. It's like nah, like we all in now. Yeah, 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 definitely, man. And and like I said before that, you know, I was networking and communicating with people and stuff like that. But I just felt like like once I knew that I was responsible for another life, it just took shit to another level. I was, right. <laughs> I was just like, yeah. I was I, like, bro, yeah, shit <laughs> gets real. Work. Shit yeah. gets real. Yeah. Do you, yeah so, so so besides acting, your new venture in acting, do you have uh, anything else outside of music? Because I feel like I don't know. You give me the type of vibe that that you. I feel like you can. You the type of person that if you get your hands on something, you know how to do the shit. Is there anything else outside of music that that you got your hands on right now and and working towards? Uh, not really. I mean, I I be investing in stuff like I'm I'm kind of like in the crypto field. I fuck with that a little mm, bit. Okay. You know I mean, stocks a little bit, shit like that. So I mm. mean, other than that, not really. I'm like really more so focused on the music shit. You know, mm. um, I'm more so an artist and a uh, writer. Like I said, you know, if a right. lot of in the independent artists need help, I do all for that. And I've wrote for a few independent artists behind the scenes. But you know, oh, that's, that's his cool. ghost That's his ghost. That's his ghost right. shit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> NDAs, man. We'll talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, other than that, man, like I try to produce a little bit. I know I could, I could, I could definitely produce some shit, but like I never like really went hard on, on the producing aspect. But I'm, I'm mm-hmm. gonna get there. You know, I'm, I'm just really focused on getting my material out there right now as a, as an independent artist and seeing what happens with that. Right, and I did see in your yeah. snippet you had um a We Live TV hoodie on. Facts. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's what, like right away you just you supporting them like I, that's dope yeah like. yeah, yeah. What, what, what happened with that was um uh, his man's had a hoodie on you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying he had he had that hoodie on mm-hmm. and um they didn't have any more in the car that i knew of but he had mm-hmm. that shit on and i was like yo let me rock that i was like mm-hmm. i rock that put that shit on right now put it up in the video because i rock with y'all mm-hmm. you know I mean? y'all rock with me so i was like i'll just put that shit on in the video right now plus it's a different look Right. So he was like, all right, bet. So we took the shit off. I put the shit on. We went through the scenes and you know what I mean? <laughs> so that's that's fire too to even to to push to your to your crowd too. Like the people mm-hmm. that don't know him, you push it to them and they're like, Oh, that shit is fire. Like Yeah, man. Yeah, so I'm that, always down to support everybody, man. 
Always. I always will be, man. That, that's the, we, we have to, man. At the end of the day, we all we got, man. Right. And we all trying to do the same thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So that's one thing I, I never really understood with some people. Like, they be scared, like, to support motherfuckers. Like, I ain't right. scared to support nobody because there's, there's, there's more than enough out there. Exactly. Every Everybody going to eat, bro. Like, <laughs> right. we could that's... be in the same exact lane and we still going to eat. That's you like when, pe- when people act like that, I, I ask them, like, do you understand how many gas stations there are? And how all them get money? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> there be Bro, gas be stations a- right across the street from each other. Facts. Getting money. A Noco here and then an Exxon right around right. the corner, dog. <laughs> exactly. Like, or a Shell here and a fucking filling fly over here or some right. shit like, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then people don't understand that. And so people people tend to say in Allentown is like, oh, like nobody supports here. But me personally, I feel like that's in any inner city. Like, how is it in, in your city? Is it the same way? Is there no, is it, do you feel like there's no support or how do you feel about that? I'm, I'm going to keep it a hundred with you, bro. I'm going to keep it a, a thousand percent with you. I feel like there's support when there wants to be support. Mm. What do you mean? You feel me? Cause, cause I've I noticed, I've noticed like certain artists will put certain shit out, right? That mm-hmm. are from here. Like they'll put certain content out, push their shit out and certain people will like it. You know what I mean? Right. Which is cool. But if another artist, you know what I'm saying, puts something out, you know what I'm saying, we all know the same motherfuckers, niggas ain't really going to like that shit. But they're going to really like the other nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. <laughs> if, if that makes sense. But then, but then at the same time, I understand at the same time, there are people that, you know, there also are, because there's a lot of artists out here. Mm-hmm. So there's also, like, some artists that, you know, just across the board support any and everything. You know what I mean? Right. And, you know, at the end of the day, I just feel like it's a competition thing. If that's just me yeah. being real, I know, I know cats support one another, but I kind of feel like at the same time, cats is like really not trying to come up and be like, yo, I really support what you're doing because they got their own shit going on. Right. It's like they'll, you know they'll I mean? show love from a distance, but they ain't really trying like, right. Because right. they're trying to get it's, there too. Right. It's, 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 it's like cats could post a, 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 a video up right now and you know what I mean? You, you might like it but you're not gonna comment it but or, or you're just gonna view my story you know what i'm saying right right he's gonna view my story but you're not gonna fucking yeah <laughs> you're not gonna comment yeah. it and be like yo this shit hard but you're gonna it's, view my story it's time. crazy how many up. people like, view your shit and never like your post you, it's, it's, yo, it's it's kind of like that you know what i mean it's kind of like that you know what I, mean? I, I could be wrong but that's just how i feel that's just how i feel yeah you, know you feel I mean? like it's kind of like a popularity contest like like it's more so like oh if, if everybody's liking his shit i'm gonna just like it because everybody else is liking it it could be. I mean, it, it definitely could be, but at the same time, I don't know. I can't read their minds. I'm right, understanding right, right. how I feel. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because I've experienced it. I'm still experiencing it too. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, you know what I mean? But like I said, you know, it's to each his own. And, and sometimes you want to work with another artist, they might be like, nah, I don't really want to work right now. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And at the same time, like, all right, cool. You don't want to work? That's fine, nigga. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. That's fine. And, and then sometimes it's a matter of y'all both gotta link up. You know what I mean? Sometimes mm-hmm. y'all both really want to fuck with each other, but y'all just don't got the record. You right. You know what I mean? So because I, I know there's definitely like two or three artists that I know personally that I really want to work with. And they and they respect uh reciprocated the back, like, yo, we want to work, but we just don't got mm-hmm. the record yet. You know what I mean? Right. And then there's okay. other artists that where I offered to work with them and they like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like right. they don't answer me or or mm-hmm. they don't. <laughs> and then y'all seen. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then you read my story. So I'm like, exactly. Right, <laughs> it's like the shit just be weird. Like it just be weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, all right, well, nigga, that's how you feel. Fuck it. <laughs> so do you so do you got a team? Do you got a team like a, a artist, like a, a, a other artists, or photographers, or is it just you just pumping this all yourself? It's all me. Mm. It's every, everything is me. And that that's another thing too. Um that I felt like back in the day, well, now I want to really say back in the day, but you know, like a while back, a few years back, I felt mm-hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? That shit was kind of holding me back too. Cause I was always like, damn, yo, if I had a fucking team, I'll be able to fucking do X, Y, and Z. Because I had witnessed, uh, I had a situation similar to that back in like 2013, 2014. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I, I was recording back then and I actually had a team, you know what right. I mean? I used to go back and forth to Philly and we actually had a, uh, you know what I'm saying? We, the artist I was working with, we were really pushing him at the time, but yeah. we was a fucking team. It was me and him. We had like a whole bunch of models. We had a a, a sponsor that was giving money. Like mm. niggas open for Beanie Siegel, like Met Tech Nine. Like we was doing mm. a lot of stuff. We was about to open an independent label, all that. But the way we were moving, I we were getting shit done. We we were right. we were really getting things done. Mm-hmm. 
and and fast forward all these years later, it don't work out, whatever. It's like, you know what I mean? Having a team is very beneficial because at some point you can't do everything by yourself. But initially, it's like you got to put the work in. Right. You have to because at the end of the day, nobody really going to put you first. You got to put yourself first. Because exactly. either A, they busy doing what they doing. B, they probably don't support you. And even if they do support you, they trying to outwork you. you know? right. so, exactly. <laughs> I'm the type of dude, like, you ain't going to outwork me. You might have a team, bro. You might have somebody that really, every time you drop something, they're going to post it with you. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You might have a manager. I don't got that. You might right. have a, a pack of DJs you really rock with. I don't got that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I don't got none of that, bro. It's just me. You know what I right. mean? Like, you know what I mean? As far as team, I, I would probably consider maybe, maybe we live because I rock with them. So anytime I got to shoot a video, nine times out of ten, I'm going to hit them up first. Like that's your video and they, people. And that's that's my video right. man. Now, I, mm -hmm. I got two other people that I rock with too. Mm -hmm. But being that I'm so close with them right now, you know what I'm saying? I rock with them. And at the end of the day, I'm always going to rock with them. Right. You know what I mean? But outside of that, bro, any behind the scenes shit, it's me. Any networking is me. Any promotion is me. No. <laughs> If I'm reading off the Spotify playlist, me, you know what I mean. Do you feel like it was easier with a team, or do you? Because I know, I know, with a team, you got a bunch of different personalities. So with that is what I'm talking about. Is it easier? Is it easier just to move by yourself? Like you don't got to wait on nobody else. You don't got to feel like, oh, since he ain't fucking with it today, you know, it ain't for gonna sure. work. Oh, for sure, mm. for sure, and that that's that's the beauty of it. At the same time, mm -hmm. because it's like I don't have to wait for you, bro. Right. It's like if I'm recording, I don't gotta wait for you to pull the fuck up. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I don't yep. gotta do nothing. I, mm -hmm. I don't gotta wait for you to post anything. I don't gotta wait for you to call anybody. I'm saying I don't, I don't gotta wait for you to take me anywhere. I'm doing it all myself. You know, which mm -hmm. is also the beauty of it because at the same time, when you do it all yourself and, and you believe in your cause that much, when it works out, the feeling is a thousand percent times better you know it's, right. it's so much better and, and especially if there's somebody i'm saying behind you that's really not fucking with you like that right. even if they act like they are mm -hmm. if they really not messing with you like that and you get from a to z by yourself right come on man you feel me <laughs> like that right. like that yeah so, you know what i mean yeah man so so yeah man yeah it's 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 a beautiful thing at the same time, but at the same time, it's like damn, you know what I mean. There's right. only so much you can really do by yourself, but you have mm -hmm. to be able to put that work in. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, Regardless, yeah. if you got a team Regardless. or not, because everybody got to be on the same page. Everybody got to be working hard. Because if somebody slacking, that means you slacking. Because like, all wheels got you got four wheels on the car, nigga. You need all four of them to move. If one don't work, you ride. <laughs> your move. shit ain't gonna move. <laughs> your shit gonna go like this. Right. And it's gonna go like this, nigga. Yep, and exactly. It's gonna go like that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And that's and that's that'd be the hard thing finding a team for real. And uh -huh. and in this game, like even with because you sound you sound real business, uh, like you're knowledgeable and understand the business. Yeah, I've been studying that shit all by myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. But so so for the yeah. acting, do you for acting is this your? You just trying this or like after this, you gonna you still gonna be looking for more, you know what I'm saying, cast ins and shit like that. Oh, I'm definitely gonna be looking for more. Mm. Bottom line, because I'm I know when I was young, when I was young, I used to be like, damn, yo, I could play this role in a movie. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like I like for instance, like I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't really rock with like cops like that. There's some certain, mm -hmm. certain cool ones, right? Right. But like when I used to watch shit like spot or something. I'm like, y'all want to bust in the door and be like, yo, put your motherfucker. Like, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> right. you know, some shit like that in a uh -huh. movie. Or like, I always used to say like, yo, I can see myself on a show like, like Power. I can see myself on a show like Power. Mm -hmm. or, or like Empire, or even Law and Order SVU. Like, my sister is in love with that show. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yo, son, I could play one of them people that they, they interrogate type shit. I could do that. Like, right. that's light, bro. I could mm -hmm. do like you know what I'm saying, right? So that's definitely that's definitely a field that I would definitely be interested in. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. at the same time, that expands my portfolio, and you know, it could bring in some income and stuff like that. You know, I'm, I'm just exactly. trying to use any talent that I had. You know and I mean? whoever so, you meet out there, you could you know what I'm saying, bring the music right along with it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. You ever you ever think of getting your stuff played behind these like these shows, like Netflix series and and shit like that? Ever thought about playing yeah. music? Yeah, we're talking about that now, but you know, we, we gotta own the whole thing. You know what I mean? Right, like, exactly. like, like right, right now, I, I don't own a lot of my beats exclusively. Mm -hmm. Exclusively, you know what yeah. I mean? Mm -hmm. Exclusively. 
So so that right there is stopping me from even trying to go that route because I ain't trying to put myself in a situation where if right. something does pop off, then it's a whole nother fucking thing. You know what I mean? Like I'd rather people, be the type of person. Nah, go what? ahead, my fault. Nah, go ahead. You good? Because people the, the people with the beast, they gonna wait till you pop to say something. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's that that that's what I'm saying. And it's and it's like me personally, I understand the whole thing about yo, buy your shit exclusive because mm-hmm. anybody else could buy it. I, that's cool. I get that. But at the same time, I'm like, I'd rather wait until I know I got a hit record. Right. And if that mm-hmm. shit start doing crazy numbers and I'm start getting phone calls, then it's like, all right, I need to get this. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> Period. And, and if it's not available, fine. I just make something else. Right. You can get I already, somebody- I already got I already got the audience. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know and saying? you can even get someone to recreate the beat, re-record the song, put it back, re-release it, Feel and me? have all that shit so, on your own. At the end of the day, it's a win-win. Mm-hmm. It's a win-win, you know what I mean? So that's just how I look at it, man. I, I don't really want to buy anything exclusive until well, I know that shit's a for sure, babe. Right. Yeah. So then right now, you got you got Get Lost film coming up. You go yep. in there and recording on the 14th. You yep. got Ain't A Problem video dropping this Friday. Well, yep. let's say the date because this is going to come out later. A- April 30th, 2021. 2021. Okay, yeah, there you go. So you know now you got all that, you got all that coming, you got all that coming out, um, right? And you did say you got another video coming out with Ant Wave, yeah, called "Calling My Phone," yeah, "Calling My Phone," and mm-hmm. you. So what? What is there anyone else that's in your network that you just? Because I already know mm-hmm. you probably got twenty more people that you already networked with and all that. Mm-hmm. What? What else? What else is is coming in twenty twenty one? And what can the people be expecting? more out of Aaron Sands? Uh, for sure, me and Rory Fresco is dropping some shit. Mm-hmm. That's going to happen for sure. Um, I spoke to uh, Benny Bates a few times. I'm trying mm-hmm. to lock in with him. He's a dope artist out of Jersey. Uh, I'm I trying to officially before. lock... Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to officially lock in with him. And um, I had spoke to Money Moves manager. Uh, mm-hmm. Money Moves also with AE. He mm-hmm. gave me a price. I ain't really got the total price yet. I mean, mm-hmm. I have the price, but I don't got the money for it yet. Right, but I'm working on that. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> that's not that's not official yet, but uh-huh. you know, um, yeah, man. So it's 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 gonna be crazy. It's it's going and and whatever happens with this movie, I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? After we we do what we have to do and do our job, if this opens up more doors, um, then it will. Mm-hmm. And then <laughs> you go I, from I, there. I, then I go from there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, because I have no idea what's gonna happen. You know mm-hmm. what I mean. Once this whole thing gets out, and you know, once we you know start filming and everything like that, and it gets right. released, I'm not sure because anybody could see this, and then it just if it goes up from there, it goes up. Exactly. Um, but on a music tip though, I'm I'm definitely uh, connected with a few people, and uh, I plan on releasing some records with a few people. But I do have a lot of uh, records on my own that I plan on pushing as well. But it's it's gonna be a big year. That's all. Mm-hmm. I, it's it's gonna it's gonna be a major year. It That's started all, off. It started off with yeah. a lot. We started off with a lot going yeah. on. So yeah. I only see good things happening for the rest of the year. Yeah, man, it's it's, it's, it's going to go up for sure. All right. So, um, is there just um, is there anything else that you want to tell the people right now? You want to get something off your chest? You want to let the people know in your city, out your city, wherever you know what I'm saying? Let the people know mm-hmm. something from Aaron Sin's heart right now. What you want to tell them? I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna be an artist to look out for. Bottom line. Mm-hmm. So that, <laughs> I don't know when, listen, I don't know when I'm gonna take off, but I've been mm-hmm. telling people, I've been telling people, watch the journey. Mm-hmm. If y'all support me, I love y'all. I rock with y'all. If y'all don't support me, that's cool too. Mm-hmm. It really is. Cause I know where I'm headed. I know what's about to happen. Um, I see it happening. Mm-hmm. It just didn't happen in my face yet. If right. that makes sense. Yep. You know no, what I, I mean? It. I get it. Um, but I highly believe that by the end of this year, the end of 2021, going into 2022, I'm probably going to be known on a higher scale mm. between the music and hopefully the acting as well, but definitely the music. Mm. <laughs> so, and I, I'll, I'll affirm yeah. it with you i'll affirm it with you i believe it i believe it bro thank you man i appreciate you man yeah man it's it's gonna be dope man i'm just trying to 
keep my foot on people's necks, man, and and, mm-hmm. and, and really get this working. You know, I'm, right. I'm really trying to stay on top of everything that I'm doing and just try to keep the content flowing and, uh, you know, just taking it from there, keeping faith, man, and stay grinding, man, because I, I know something's about to happen. Things are already happening. Yeah, for but, sure. you know, as far as going from A to Z, I, I'm already climbing. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, you know, it's the execution isn't fully there. You know right. what I mean? I, yep. If that makes sense, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So it's going to be dope. It's going to be dope, man. All right, we'll see shit. Y'all heard it first, man. Aaron yeah. Sins got ain't, ain't a Problem out right now, streaming everywhere. Video coming out April 30th. Yes, sir. Get Lost film coming out soon. Being shot in May. You got a lot of yes, shit going so on, sweet. man. <laughs> and I do yes. appreciate you getting in tune with us today, man. I know you busy. Uh, like you said, you got a newborn at home. So I do appreciate you getting the time and, and just coming here and rocking with us today, man. Yeah, man, for sure. I appreciate you, man, for you allowing me to, to be on this platform, man. I, I definitely appreciate it, man. And hopefully this is the start of a new friendship, you know what I mean? For Business sure, relationship, for sure. you know what I mean? We can get things rocking, man. But yeah, for sure, man. Thank yeah, you so man. much. I'm appreciate with it. Just you shout too. out your Instagram, yeah, where they can follow you and find you at. Oh, yes, yeah, Sersky, man. It's Aaron Sins. That's A A R O N. S Y N Z on all platforms, even Clubhouse. You got a Clubhouse, so I'm on mm. that shit too. That's Twitter, that's Instagram, that's Facebook, that's Clubhouse, all of that. Now, also, if you see the name Cincini, I also go by Cincini as well. Mm. Okay. You know what I mean? So, yeah, so that that basically just came from the Sin and Sincere and then the Lucini that I used to go by. Mm. One of my men came in the crib when I was recording one day and he was just like, Cincini. And the shit just <laughs> so it's, it's kind of like how Wayne got Tunchi and Drake got Drizzy and, right, uh, and right. Jay got Hove. I got some shit, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. So it's dope, man. It's dope. All right, man. Well, again, yeah, thank man. you for tuning in, and thank you everybody for joining today, man. Again, my name is AC. This is Aaron Sins, and we are in tune. Let's go. Yeah.